Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Hey, dog, dog. Get your, get your paws off that sofa. Down, I said. Down. Hey, baby. How long do you think it's going to be before this new acquisition of ours settles down and stops feeling like a stranger in the house? Oh, a couple of days at least. She barks so much. Well, she's only been here since yesterday. Give her a chance. Do you, you think she likes us? Of course she likes us. Look, I'll show you. Come on over here. Come on over here. Come on. Come on, girl. Oh, look, she's wagging her tail. That's right. That's a good old girl. Now, lie down. She's lie down. smiling. Come David, I'm sure that dog is smiling. Where? On her face, of course. Where would a dog smile? Only you and dogs would know. No. She's a nice girl. Yes, sir. Pretty well bred, too. You mean uh, well bred or well bred? Now, let's not start that. Well, you know what I mean. Well bred in a dog way or in a human way. I will not answer questions to which you know the answer. I don't. So stop asking them. Throw me the evening paper. Here. Paper. Thank you. Well, she's beautiful. You know, I think being a Great Dane is just as becoming to a girl as it is to a boy. More becoming, maybe. You better not let Bluff hear you say that. Oh, I love Bluff just as much as I love her. Bluff and I are old friends, but, well, this dog has real charm. Hey, she's drooling. Mm -hmm. She's She's sitting perfectly quietly and comfortably, as if she'd been here for years. Dogs are very adaptable critters, aren't they? They live in one place, then they live in another place. Little do they care. Mm, They care. They don't even bring a toothbrush. <laughs> come on over here, girl. Come well, on, come on, Leave her alone now. She's on. quiet. I know. You just like to have her leaning against your leg. I know. <laughs> you can thank your lucky stars I'm not the jealous type. Since that dog has come into the house yesterday, you haven't said boo to me. Oh, boo to you. Oh, lovely. Thanks. Say, what time is it? Quarter of eleven. Where's Bluff? He's usually around at this hour, begging for a bone. Well, I heard him a little while ago around the back door. Oh. He's up at the barn with Fritz. Oh, well, he must be with Fritz then. They certainly get along beautifully. Fritz and Bluff? No, 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 no. Bluff and the new Dane. You know, it was love at first sight, David. Just the way it was with me. With you and the Dane? No, with me and you. Oh. Love at first sight. It's wonderful. You like it, huh? (laughs) To think I fell in love with you before I knew anything else about you. You must be quite something. I am. And you can talk more nonsense talking than any... Talking nonsense is the nicest part of talking. Well, you ought to know. I do. Heavens, quarter to seven. Mom will be home any minute now. Good. Darling, it's wonderful you loving Mama, too. Not only do I love Mama, but she's somebody else for you to talk to. Just what do you mean by that? Now, see if you can be as quiet as the dog, I wonder you? what she'll think of her. The dog or Mama? Mm, and vice versa. <laughs> Why on earth shouldn't a dog like Mama? After all, Mama's good enough for me. Well, dogs are choosy. David, I Quiet haven't boy. told Mama about her. You haven't? No. I thought Mama went into town with you on Tuesday well, when you went to find out about getting the dog. Well, she only went as far as the door. She didn't oh. go up to the Pringles with me. Haven't seen her since, so... I've only talked to her on the phone once or twice since Tuesday, and... Well, there's so many other things to say. I, I didn't mention the dog... Aunt Louise is much better, and, well, I thought I'd surprise her with her. With Aunt Louisa? David, I'm going to murder you. No, (laughs) not Aunt Louisa. The dog. Is much better? Aunt Louisa is better. Oh. And the dog is a surprise. Oh, I see. And heaven knows what Mama will say, only you're being so obtuse, I'm not going to say another word. Well, then shut up. I'll be able to read my paper. Go ahead. Read your old paper. Read it all you like, and as long as you like. Stock market? Building news? You're pretty spiffy when you get mad. Well, just don't you find out how spiffy I can get. Hello. I'm home. Oh. Mama! Nobody's expecting you, Mrs. Brown. Too bad I'm nobody, because here I am. Well, we'll just have to make the best of it. Come on in the living room. We're I'm here. coming. There's somebody here who wants to see you besides me, Mama. Oh, stop flattering. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. Very chilly out. It's good to be home. You should have let us call for you at the station, Ooh. Mama. I took a taxi. Hello, Blum. 
Well, that's a nice way to greet me, Doc. Mm, you look very well and chic, Mrs. Brown. No wonder I've been away from the farm for a t- few days. Will you listen to how independent she's gotten, David? It's about time. Well, who did you mean you wanted to see me, David? Just us and the... The uh... dog. You'd never know it, especially the dog. Come here, Bluff. You haven't been very pleasant to me. Oh, oh, no. Just because Claudia doesn't know how to say anything nice, there's no reason for your lip to curl, too. (coughs) David, look at this dog. He acts as if he'd never seen me before. Strange, isn't it, David? Mm, Just ignore you, Bluff. Have you apologized to your poor old mother-in-law? Odd the way the dog's acting, isn't it, Claudia? Stop, Mama, backing up. <laughs> Stop that. Stop that this minute. What's happened to you? Come over here and give me the paw. <laughs> Such a noise. I've been gone three days and you've forgotten me. Completely. Well, guess that's it. Mm, I forgotten. wonder, I wonder. Dogs are supposed to have long memories, mm-hmm. you know. Well, this one certainly used to be a sweet dog. Well, if that's the way he wants to be, it's all right with me. Hey, where are you going, Mama? Just into the hall to take off my hat and straighten my hair. You aren't hurt, are you? I mean, because of the dog. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I know he's only fooling. Warn him. I'll be right back in. If he growls, I'll growl back. (laughs) (laughs) Poor Mama. David, let's not tell her. You mean that it's not bluff? Let's see how long it'll be before she realizes it. It could go on all night. (laughs) I knew they looked so much alike, but I never stopped (laughs) to think what fun it could be. (laughs) Listen, maybe next time I have a baby, I ought to try and have twins. What are you two whispering about? Just because we're not shouting, Mrs. Brown, doesn't mean that we're whispering. Now, Bluff, without my hat. Now, do you recognize me? <coughs> What's got me into you, you stubborn thing? We're friends, you and I. David, get this dog away from me. He's fickle. Dogs are the most loyal animals in the world. Oh, in theory. <coughs> You know, that dog obviously doesn't consider Mama a friend, does he, David? Mm, no, I uh, wouldn't say so. Afraid not. You know, it could be, Claudia, that the dog knows what's in Mama's heart. Mm, even better than Mama herself mm, knows. Yes, I never thought of that. I could never be. heard such Is nonsense. <laughs> Is it nonsense, Mama? You leave me alone, you monster. Go away. <laughs> Shoot. Mama. Mama, what have you done to this dog? Behind our back. Nothing, I tell you. Nothing. <laughs> nothing, Mama? Claudia, will you please stop repeating everything that dog says? Uh, tell me uh, honestly, Mama. How long has this, uh, this feud been going on? Feud? Mm-hmm. Between you and Bluff. But there hasn't been any feud. Can't I make you see? We're friends. <laughs> yes, I noticed. One-sided, though it may seem. Get away from me, you horrible animal, you. Go, go. <laughs> David, he's got me cornered. Take him away. All right, Mother, come on. Come on, if that's what you want, Mother, I'll take Well, I guess from now on, we'll just have to keep those two separated, David. Yes, I guess so. Come on, boy. (coughs) You see, Mother? To me, he's sweet as pie. Come along, Rod. I'll uh, take you out for a walk. (coughs) I think I'd better sit down now that I'm liberated. You do look kind of breathless, Mama. Well, I feel very breathless. There, fix your hair. No, there, on your left ear. You must look a perfect fright. Right there. You do, a fright. And frightened a little. Small wonder finding an enemy in one's own home. I always thought you loved dogs, Strange. I do. Even that big brute. Well, I certainly hope you two will bury the hatchet soon. What hatchet? Claudia, I wish you'd stop acting as though this were one big joke. Isn't it? Well, it may be to you, but not to me. Well, think I'm of the... undermined. But, Mama... Think of the dog. And David, too, if there's anything David hates, it's feuding. But there isn't. Mommy, you certainly can't expect me to believe that very well. Oh, this is too much. You're taking that dog's word against mine. Just my own eyes and ears, that's all. that settles it. You call David and tell him to bring Bluff back in here. And we'll see whose word is what around here. Now, Mommy, you're sure that you want to see Bluff? Yes, I'm sure. Only don't leave us alone. David! Ooh. You out there? Mm, what is it, darling? Mama wants you to come in with Bluff. I don't want, but I can't help myself. She wants to prove that she and Bluff are friends, darling. Well, if that's what Mama wants, I'll come in with Bluff. He's coming in, Mama, and there isn't a thing to worry about. I'm only doing this to get back my self-respect. Snuffed by a dog. I won't have it. 
Here he comes. He likes you, Mama. Listen to him. Well, that's better. Now you remember me. Oh, sweet, David. He's licking your hand. Ah, oh, there we are. He's changed a bit, hasn't he, David? What do you suppose? I gave him a good talking to outside. That must have done it. Oh, I thought it was me. Still, I must relieve, Mama. Aren't you, David? Oh, yes, much, much. <laughs> Yes, you sweet angel. I forgive you. All oh, was it in You stay here with Mama and Doc. I'll get the other dog. Hurry back, darling. Hurry up. This will really throw her. <laughs> Look, Claudia, he's giving me his paw. Oh, sweet. <laughs> now, whom will you believe? Your own poor mother or a two-faced dog? A two-faced dog is right. Well, I feel better now. <laughs> Claudia, <laughs> what's that? What is what, Mama? That other dog. What other dog? What other dog? There are two dogs here. Two? David, do you see two dogs? <laughs> no, no, I don't see two dogs. Now, see, there's, there's Bluff and there's another one. Another one? David, do you, see, do you suppose Mama's seeing double? Yes, I, I think it looks like that. Oh, it certainly explains everything. Certainly does. You, you go off to New York alone and you come home seeing two dogs. Claudia? Enough is enough. I see, I've heard of seeing pink elephants and snakes, but, well, dogs. David. Mm-hmm, two dogs. Poor old Mama. Mm, poor old me is right. I'll never forgive you long as I live. Now, David, Claudia, tell me, which one is which? <laughs> Simple, Mama. Can't you tell? One dog likes you, one doesn't. That's how you can tell. <laughs> now they both like me, so I'll never know. <laughs> Darling, dog, dog! Baby, rescue me, please! Rescue me! One way to make certain that a party lives up to happy expectations is to make guests feel pleasantly at home with delicious ice-cold Coca-Cola right out of the refrigerator. Keep plenty of Coke on ice always. See your grocer about a supply today. Pick up a carton or two. They're easy to take home. Oh, Mr. King, I'm exhausted. I should think you would be, Mrs. Brown. I have never seen so many dogs. Such big dogs and identical, practically. Must have been quite a shock. Such a shock, I'd forgotten all about the possibility of it being a new dog. Those two children. Well, uh... I think you and I will have to dream up something, Mrs. Brown. You know, something to more or less get even with Claudia and David. Yes, we must. But she is a, a really beautiful dog, isn't she? A very beautiful dog. Wait till you get to know her better. You'll like her. It's going to be a, quite another large mouth to feed. Yes, any Great Dane, I think you could say, uh, would be a large mouth to feed. Uh, yes. <laughs> Don't think that Claudia hasn't considered that, too. As a matter of fact, when this month's bills are piled high on Claudia's desk next Monday, she does quite a bit of thinking. That I would like to hear. So I'll see you Monday, Mr. King. It's a date, Mrs. Brown. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again Monday at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes. And ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. The parts of Claudia and David on this program were played by Catherine Bard and Paul Crabtree, and the entire production is supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. And now, here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola.